so I, I'm recording. Yes. Okay. So <laughs> I've got two. I'm now. This is the second one we're doing. <laughs> yeah. And I'm gonna come up with two ideas, and Emily's gonna be the main uh, chef of this next movie idea. Okay. Right. Hell you. Okay. So my two categories for this movie that you have to make a movie title for are gonna be. Not just the title. You're going to make a whole plot. That's true. All right. The categories are stone henges. Henges. Like multiple stone henges. Like you have to have, <laughs> have on, a group on. of henges. There's going to be at least two henges. <laughs> okay. Not just one stone henge. It's two henges, okay, is the first topic. And the other topic is um, loving... That snackage. No, wait. What? <laughs> okay, so the henge is the first one. Henges. The henges. The henges is the first one. And so the second one. Is it two henges? Or it can be just multiple? It could be more than two henges. It has to be at least two okay. henges. <laughs> and the other one is is uh, cloning sheep. Go. <laughs> <laughs> There's got to be about those two things. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I gave you horrible categories. I apologize, but no, let's go. No, uh, it's okay. So, um, so there are these really special sheep <laughs> that, <laughs> that live on this sentient planet. Hold on, is this going to be like an animated film? Yeah. Okay, so are we talking about traditional 2D? Are we talking about CGI or some I think new medium? CG movie. Oh, you have the opportunity. I have the opportunity to go I'm, straight to I've got, I'm having visions of it in my head, but Chris. I'm just telling. I'm just okay, describing okay. This is your baby. <laughs> it's gonna be another CG film. Yeah. Okay. Go. <laughs> so there's these really special sheep. Sheep. What was the categories again? Oh, the <laughs> stone hedges and glowing <laughs> sheep. <laughs> I can't even remember my own fucking categories. <laughs> so okay. there's these really special sheep that um that have the power. Of everlasting life. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Just like, right out of nowhere. <laughs> so we got this like wolf, and, uh, <laughs> and you can like harvest the wolf from these special sheep. What are the wolves? Is it wool like have some kind of different differentiator? Like it's a weird color, like pink, so you can tell it's a special kind of sheep <laughs> that makes everlasting life wool. <laughs> yeah. What color is those sheep? <laughs> they're they're green. <laughs> Oh, so if you see a green sheep. That's <laughs> right. It's like, you know, it's like in Ireland. <laughs> because of, like, everlasting luck? Right. It's like finding, like, a four-leaf leaf clover. <gasps> yeah. It's like the... So a the green Irish. sheep. <laughs> if you find a green sheep, you can get everlasting life. Okay, so they have the everlasting thing. Okay, so right. we got the sheep. So... <laughs> they haven't been cloned yet, but... Right, I know. Okay. Yeah. So... <laughs> So that was it's in Ireland where there are lots of henches. But anyway, I'm gonna use the henches better than that. Okay, so they're just incidentally there right now. Right. They'll be they'll be more important later. The henches right, in right. Ireland. So the um. I thought the Stonehenge was in England. There no, but there are henges around both islands. Oh okay. So oh, so you're saying like not we're not talking about the Stonehenge. We're talking about these other Stonehenges right. around the island. Well, I thought when you were like stone henges. That you were saying the henge is made of stone as opposed to Stonehenge. No, it's like multiple <laughs> Stonehenges, like the, the location. Okay. Wait, did you think I was saying hedge? No. I was saying hedge. Stonehenge. No, but. Not hedge. I thought you were saying just you were emphasizing. They're not like, bushes. <laughs> no, I didn't think bushes. <laughs> okay. They're not bushes. They're not. Okay, they're keep hedges. going. The hedges. They're not hedges. 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 The hedges. I thought you were saying hedges. No, no. You're saying hedges. I, I don't think that's what you thought. Okay. Okay. So, so okay. So we're in Ireland, <laughs> and there's the sheep that's secret because nobody knows where it is. Um, but then. No, they're so valuable with their everlasting wool. Right. I mean, it's like almost a legend at this point. Not people are. You tell something about the the green sheep, and they're like, "Oh, you're just making shit up." And people have never heard of it. Right. <laughs> Secreted away, worth lots of money, everlasting wool. Go. <laughs> so, so anyway, um, a big plague 
starts to sweep through the world. I don't think it's animated anymore. <laughs> you can have hardcore CG animated, I guess. I don't want to. So halfway through this movie is what? No. <laughs> it's real po- It's real life it's now? It's real life because of the plague. It's like the movie turning oh, black and white. Yeah, so it'll be like 3D animated and the plague will come through and wipe away their animatedness <laughs> and it'll become like real live action. And they're like, oh, I used to be cartoon with this plague. made me look real. <laughs> And that's the idea of your movie. <laughs> but doesn't it have a multiple Wait, stone I, hedges? I haven't gotten there yet. Oh, see, here's the danger. I'm too <laughs> you creative. Keep trying to end the I, keep, I keep trying to add a whole other movie on. It's not my turn. It's <laughs> Emily's turn. We've got sheep that are green, worth a lot of money, because they have everlasting wool. They're hidden what away. That? I never said they were worth a lot of money. I just thought they were, like, legendary, and of course they would be really valuable. Not so, valuable like money. Oh, uh, well, valuable some people money. might sell their lucky invincible robes <laughs> or whatever the wool makes. <laughs> <laughs> For a little bit of scratch. You have to wear, like, Foreman-style underwear in your wool. <laughs> that will keep you alive. <coughs> <laughs> How do you know what the Mormon style underwear looks like? That's supposed to be the most secretest of underwear. <laughs> Time it like ex Mormons put it out there. <laughs> You're looking at Mormon X. Is that like the the white version of Malcolm X? I thought you were about to say it's not a porn site. A really white bread missionary. <laughs> Mormon X. <laughs> Mormon X. Take Mormon X <laughs> for all your uh, needs of the bowel. I think we're still recording your movie, though. It so. is, yes. We are still recording. Okay. So we haven't worked on the hedges yet. Go. <laughs> so the green is really valuable. A plague sweeps the world, and it's not animated anymore. Right. The plague makes it not animated. <laughs> well, that was your idea, and I'll go with that. Yes, and. You, so. Um, okay. Rule yeah. number one. Go. Go. Um, so it. Uh, makes everybody that animated, but um, in Ireland, it's the last one for the plague to sweep through because the green sheep lives there, and it can't come out of animation. It can't be in the real world. Okay. Um. So. Well, what happens if it gets in the real world? I mean, because green sheep choices. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so they have to conform. <laughs> That's gonna make no sense. <laughs> no, it does because because the real world has like real world. So like the whole idea is that like in an animated world, <laughs> in an animated world, you know, <laughs> you don't have to follow the rules of the real world. But whatever it's live action, it can only follow the rules of physics, and that's obvious because they, and movies like Harry Potter and like ones like that that. Go against the rule. Which rule? <laughs> that real world movies can only have things happen that happen in the real world. <laughs> this is like called nonfiction. <laughs> <laughs> no, not like <laughs> the events have to be true. Just like you can't break the rules of physics or have green sheets. <laughs> In the real world. In the real world. So if the world became real, then the sheep would disappear because the <laughs> okay. real world doesn't have any green right. sheep in it. So the sheep are disappearing. We still haven't worked in cloning or the multiple hedges. I know, I know. Okay. So um, I don't at any rate, the, the, um, <laughs> the sheep can hold off the plague from Ireland alone, but they can't hold it off any further because there's only like a couple of them left in the world. Uh-huh. So they figure out that green sheep can be cloned if you link together all the henges in the country. So they, <laughs> they, have, <laughs> they have people who figure out how to amplify the power of the henges. <laughs> right, because like <coughs> magic exists in animated worlds as well. But I thought it wasn't animated anymore. Right, but that part is. Ireland is animated because the plague hasn't hit through. Oh, okay, that's right. Right, so <laughs> Ireland is animated and they have people who figure out how to tap in power penges and amplify their power. So they clone the sheep because the sheep, when there's more of them, can stave off the plague. And so gradually the world becomes animated again. And lucky thing, because animated things are a lot harder to kill, because when they were in the real world, they were getting killed off. Okay. So, 
the henges cloning the sheep saved the world. Mine was like the clo- the like climax of the movie, as opposed to yours is just like stars. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. No, first of all, first of all, we shouldn't cross contaminate the movie ideas, soundtrack videos, no. or whatever. But like that was not mine. Was just a superficial. Oh, there's stars. It was a central theme of, of the two ladies working together. together. Right. I don't talk bad uh, about <laughs> goddamn stars. I'll stop talking shit, okay? Now back to your thing. You've got multiple hedges and no, the more. I, I just solved the problem because the, when they cloned the sheep, the sheep were able to stave off the uh, infection. They were set all around the world to like push, you know, push back the plague. Yeah, but they were they were spawned by the multiple hedges. Right. Cooked up together. It, yeah, those became a cloning <laughs> and device. And that became a cloning <laughs> device. Because you got to have more than one. Everyone knows that. And then that well, that's why they were the so sheep. rare, because like each hen could only produce like one green sheep. In its whole life? <laughs> so <laughs> the hen just were dying off? <laughs> <laughs> and this is the last chance? The last two hen just decided to <laughs> sacrifice themselves to create stone <laughs> It's, it's just it makes for the cheap. That's the dumbest idea. Okay, so anything else with the movie? Oh, we never go. We the never came up with the title. Um, about sheep the, head. Sheep head. <laughs> I love it. Is that a hedge in sheep's clothing? (laughs) Oh, that's a great. That was a great movie, huh? Is there anything? So, sheep (laughs) hedge is the name of the movie. Doesn't have a tagline. That's what that last one was. A hedge in sheep's clothing. The tagline: a hedge in sheep's clothing. Okay, I love it. Well, so there we go. Uh, that was Emily's movie, She Penge. <laughs> so, thanks for joining us this evening, though. <laughs>